Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month and it starts right out of the gate. Right around the third of the month, we are going to have a full moon. Now this full moon is happening in the sign just before yours and it is part of a T-square, which is a larger configuration of tension, but also motivation as well. Now the planet involved in this T-square though, that is the thing, it is Uranus. Planet of awareness, of surprise, Sometimes this energy can truly be shocking as well. For you, given the full moon is in the sign just before yours, this is a part of the sky that has to do with the things you are not aware of. Now, full moons in and of themselves bring awareness. They bring acceptance. But Uranus definitely speaks to awareness and it is all things coming to light. Now, this may be about you. It might be a dream that is especially revealing to you now where you realize how things have been and you wake up in some way feeling changed, maybe even feeling cleansed. But for others, this may be some external circumstance, uh, some very surprise ending that you hadn't anticipated or some sense of a truth being revealed that really feels like it comes out of nowhere. Now, regardless of what transpires, the key here is, is that it is honest, it is real, it is an energy that is meant to help you to understand what it means to find healthy closures. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that people leave, it can happen at this time, but what can be the case is the healthy closure is about your own sense of expectation, your own sense of where it is perhaps you had invested a lot into an illusion. Now, as you see the truth, you're able to understand the best way to move forward from here. Now, here's another thing I want you to understand. This is necessary because it is going to be next month that we are going to have a full moon in your sign. And when you have a full moon in your sign, it is a truth. It is a closure, yes, but it is about self. It is also a beginning. And considering the really gorgeous energy we have next month in your opposite sign, well, it does tell me that whatever needs to happen now, it's okay, let it, before the month is even over. In fact, as we move towards the middle of the month, the energy starts to change to your advantage. And that is because we are going to have a new moon right around the 19th of the month. The next day, Mercury will move into your opposite sign. So let's talk about this new moon. It is happening in a daily part of your sky. This has to do with the workplace, the type of work you're doing, the people that you interact with there. It also has to do with how well you're taking care of yourself, your health related habits. Now I love this new moon. It is happening hand in hand with Mercury and speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. This tells me that there are new ideas, new opportunities, new connections that are happening that are part of opening up greater workplace opportunity for you. At the very least, this is gonna be a busy time. Now, Mars, of course, is in shadow. Next month is gonna go retrograde. And I have been speaking to you about the Mars retrograde season. I have a video explaining that in detail. I will link to it in the description below. But the key to remember here is that it is going to be this month that Mars is going to set up some difficult connections with other power players. It's just the beginning. And yes, this can speak to some financial motivation, financial stress, but at this new moon, the work pays off. That is the thing. Mars asks you to take action. It asks for you to empower yourself and take steps. And it is those very steps that are going to empower you at the new moon and in fact, it is this new moon that energizes you, that gives you faith and belief in your own ability to create opportunity for yourself with the opportunities that do show up. So this is a wonderful energy. You will be busy at the very least. Now, where it comes to your health-related habits, this is a wonderful, energizing, healthy kind of energy where it is that you are making changes to your habits rooted in self-worth and self-esteem they will pay off very quickly at this time. 
Now, where it comes to matters of love, there is very big news set to take place. And on August 8th, Venus will move into a romantic and flirtatious part of the sky for you. This is a part of the sky that has to do with heart level connections. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, this move of Venus is going to set up a beautiful few weeks that will bring with them opportunities to enjoy and get your flirt on. Now, the only space I want you to be a little bit mindful is in the last days of the month. Venus is gonna stand across big power players, and it is this connection with other power players that do suggest very powerful attractions to others, but there might be some complicating elements there you need to be mindful of. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is beautiful energy. This does suggest you are enjoying this person's company, you're getting to know them more, but it is also light and it is fun as well. Now that energy is going to be there through most of the month, of course, but as we move into the last days of the month, as I said, the energy does get a little bit tense, so you just wanna be a little bit mindful in the last days of the month, at the very least, they're gonna help you to get honest about what you feel about this person. And for those of you in an established bond, I love this move of Venus. It does suggest you will be feeling more romantic, feeling more romance and motivated towards more romance, feeling more connected to your partner as well on a heart level. And this can be where some truly memorable moments and memorable experiences can transpire for you. Ultimately though, this is an energy of joy and enjoyment of each other. These moments that remind you what it is that brought the two of you together to begin with. And in that, some lovely memories can be created. What I love about this month for you, well, I am going to say I love that new moon in the middle of the month as Mercury will step into your opposite sign right afterwards. It does suggest that Connections with others are a key part of how the later part of the month unfolds in terms of those workplace opportunities, in terms of information you need to take the best of care of you, but also in terms of your joy and how it is that other people can connect you with opportunities to enjoy your life that much more. It is going to be at this new moon that whatever uncertainty or realizations show up early in the month, well, they will be worth it because it is at this time, at the new moon, that your life changes in practical ways for the better. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.